on page two here, there are actually three problems, A, B, and C, and we're supposed to calculate the directional derivative for this surface from the point minus two, zero in the direction that's given to us. So in part A, you're going to go in the direction of I, which is the unit vector in the I direction, and then in the direction of three I minus four J, and C is in the direction of I plus J. So I'm going to do just one of these as an example, and you are going to do the other two that for class, so that you're ready for class. So here's, I'll do part B, because most students think that it's the hardest one. And then uh, you guys can do A and C. So part B, we have 3i minus 4j, so that's the direction that we want to go. So I'm going to call that vector V. Now if I think about my directional derivative formula, I want to think about the things that I need and the things that I want. So I want f sub u at the ordered pair minus 2, 0. So that means I need the unit vector to get u1 and u2, unit vector in the same direction as v. Then I need f sub x at minus 2, 0. I need f sub y at minus 2, 0. And then I just multiply a bunch of stuff together. Pretty straightforward. So let's start with finding the unit vector. So that means I have to have the magnitude of V. So I do the magnitude of V from earlier sections. That's going to be the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared to square root of 9 plus 16, 25 square root. So my magnitude is 5. That's kind of nice. So that makes my unit vector, I take each component of V and divide by its magnitude. And that's the unit vector in the direction that I want to go. So that's part of the problem. I will say that U1 is equal to 3 over 5 and U2 is equal to minus 4 over 5. So this is something we previously learned how to do and now we're utilizing it to do directional derivatives. Let's do f sub x. Well, my function, I should, I'm just going to write it down here. z equals x squared plus y squared. And we're starting out with some straightforward functions, so our partial derivatives aren't so hard. But the partial derivative of this guy with respect to x is 2x. And f sub y of xy. Partial derivative of that with respect to y is 2y. So if I'm going to input the ordered pair minus 2, 0, this becomes minus 4. And minus 2, 0, this becomes 0. Now using f sub u formula, I have to take this number times that number plus this number times that number. Have your previous handout out so you can look at the formula. And then I just do the product. So multiplying minus 4 times 3, that gives me minus 12 over 5. That's giving me 0. So this right here, if I was sitting on my surface at the point minus 2, 0. So here's minus 2, 0. And I point in the direction of 3i minus 4j. So 1, 2, 3i, 1, 2, 3, 4j minus 4j. There's my vector v. I'm sitting at the point minus 2, 0, and I point in that direction. What does minus 12 fifths tell me? In this direction, if I'm sitting on my surface, and I point in that direction, that is the slope in that direction, minus 12 over 5. So if a derivative in that direction is negative, what does that mean? That means that I'm going down on the surface because it's negative. So remember in the past when your derivative was negative, that means your function is decreasing. It's the same way here. If my derivative is negative, that means my surface is decreasing or my function is decreasing. So here, uh, derivative is negative. So in the direction of V,
we are decreasing. So the word derivative, its meaning doesn't change. So the derivative is just the slope at a point. In 2D, it's a slope of a curve at a point. There's no direction involved. But when you're on a surface, since there's so many different slopes that you can have, you have to consider a direction. So in this direction on my surface, from that point, I am going down. If I'm at a different point going in that direction, I may not be going down. But I'm specifying a spe specific spot on the surface in a specific direction. So let's go on to the next part.